happy Wednesday, fellow furniture dorks. I'm Teresa at Rave Home Collection. And I am Melissa Morrow with Rave Home Staging. And we don't have our ears on, I just realized. Ah, oh, dang it. We were in a meeting and we, like, literally, Sue's yelling, it's two o'clock! <laughs> That's not what we thought she said, but we're not yeah, going to say we, anything we, about that. We, we totally heard something entirely different. Think of, it's two o'clock! From way across the building. And much sassier. Much sassier. That's right. We're going to have to give extra funk and fun today without our ears just to show that we can do it. We can do it, yeah. Um, and what is today? Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Uh, you might tell from the table, although it's not as pretty as we try to usually stylize it. Yes. It is. Uh, <laughs> we did a little thrift hauling. Teresa did a little thrift hauling. Mm -hmm. We did a little thrift hauling. So I want to hear it. no sass that you didn't get to go. So... I'm gonna just put a tiny size in there. All this is from Colorado when I was there. I haven't been in a while, but these little things are from there. So yeah, yeah, I, I get it. We got a little uh, bit, each of us done. Yep, yep. So, um, and we have a big announcement today. Yes, we do. We do. I don't know if you can, you can, you can read all this. Um, some of you might know, some of you might know the shape of this bottle. Um, so we are brand She's new. She's hugging it like it's her baby. We are brand new Dixie Bell retailers we are actually premier retailers which means that we are the only retailers in the 32256 zip code uh so in the greater jacksonville area i believe um you have to go out to the beaches i think uh -huh. to get dixie bell anywhere near us so anyway we're very excited about that we couldn't do it till today because there was another another dixie bell retailer who had this territory and yesterday or she moved out to the beaches and yesterday was her last day as the owner of this territory so we finally get to say we've had this stock sitting in the back room it's been killing us for about two and a half weeks yes. and i waited until yesterday after close to actually try it <laughs> We've been staring at all these pretty colors for a while and it's just been killing us. So now yeah. we get to slowly dip into them. And so there's like up. 65 colors plus. That's all. The thing that I'm most excited about, and I'll just show one of the little um, thrift haul finds that, that I have back here. Mm -hmm. Behind me, you might notice a plethora of pumpkins. Ooh, nice use of the word plethora. Uh, a plethora mm -hmm. of pumpkins. And um, these were all like $1.99 or less. At Goodwill, which is a great deal. It really is. These are us. like six bucks. Yeah, for sure. At, at half off at, mm -hmm. at fall. Yeah. And so I'm going to be using the patina sprays on these to make them all rusty and blue patina for uh, like for the here. fall. So I can't wait. That's I've been like I've been out buying the patina for myself. Mm -hmm. Um, as projects. Oh, so you've used the product. You I've know. used the gotcha, product. Gotcha. I, I've actually bought that for myself okay. for projects. And I love it. It is so much fun. I actually tried to get it in the store for Modern Masters, but I could never get them to answer me back. Mm, well, you know what? Now we have it all of our own. Yes. And right. I'm excited about that too because um, we are going to be starting a new DIY series on our YouTube. It'll only be YouTube. Um, but we're when John goes to Houston, and maybe before then, we are gonna start remodeling our house and updating it. We bought a fixer-upper a few years ago and have done almost nothing to fix it up. So we're gonna actually take this time while he's gone and fix it up when he won't be inconvenienced. And one of the things that we've decided on is the guest bathroom, which is also Sue's bathroom, the floors. I hate the floors in there. And we saw a video by um, Vintage by Melanie the other day where she used the vintage patina on her kitchen floors. Really? And it was fabulous. It looks so, so good. And Ooh. Sue and I are watching it together and like she's got these teeny tiny little tiles, but they're not like it's not like a really pretty pattern or anything. Yeah. It's just like like little teeny tiny white tiles that are such a pain. So we're actually gonna use the Dixie Bell ah. patina um, over the ceramic tiles in the bathroom. And so I think that's going to be the first Oh, thing. I can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Yay. I'm so excited. It's all brand new. Um, so yeah, a whole new video series, mm -hmm. a whole new bunch of things to do. And so since this is our launch date, we decided we we're going to use uh, the product. And much to John's dismay, it's not Duck Egg Bungalow 47. It is not Bungalow 47 Duck Egg. <laughs> it is Dixie Bell Vintage Duck Egg. A different duck. Different egg. <laughs> and a slightly different color. Yes. And then I, I also have Dixie Bell's 
uh, buttercream. I know fluff is super popular, but mm -hmm. I tend to like the off whites more than the bright, bright whites. And I've got the best dang wax in white that I'm gonna use to finish my candlesticks when I'm done painting them, half of them, Bungalow 47 Farmhouse Sink, and the other half in the blue from Dixie Bell. Awesome, you awesome. Your candlesticks? What, what? The ones downstairs, so I need to grab I them. I brought them back up, oh, yep, okay. they're all good. Okay, cool. So I'll start going through some of mine, and you start going through some of I'm yours. I'm eyeballing this thing. I, I, I think, yeah. I gotta know about this. Okay, yeah. so I mean, Sue, Sue found it. No, it's it's not nearly as heavy as some of the things that I have sitting here. <laughs> so I paid um, $5.99 for this. Um, we all decided that this was like oh, oh. in the in the event of oh. in the event of Walking Dead apocalypse. The zombie, zombie Sweet, apocalypse. which one is that coming back on? Anyway, um, that this would be the object that we would want. I think I think that would do the trick. I really do. That's yeah. pretty cool, though. So yeah, I, I like think that. this is gonna be super cool. I might save this and do the patina. The patina. On I was just it thinking that because this is cool. Because I is. think that this would be dropped in oh, gorgeous. Copper patina on that would be amazing. So I do. I do really. Yep, yep, yep. I like yep, this. Yep. Try and clear off the spots here a little bit. There we go. Um, rolling pin because love rolling pins. Three ninety nine. Just gonna paint the ends. Give it some uh, food safe hemp oil mm -hmm. and I'll throw it in a jar and she'll be done. They sell quick and easy there. Yep, yep, yep. And I'll just save that because I'll do that with the duck okay. Um I love bumblebees. Shocker, there's bees on the jar. Um, $2.99. I think this just needs a good cleanup. I don't think it needs to be painted yep. or anything. I agree with that. And um, then I'll probably do it, what do you think, like $8.99? I would say so. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'm just going to grab a couple of mine because my things are going to be boring compared to hers as I can see there. I'm not doing anything with these three things. Live life in full bloom, a sign, flat out flipping it. I paid five bucks, put $12.99 on it, and that'll be that. And I don't know if you saw my, um, li or not, it wasn't live, my collaboration video that we put up yesterday with Jamie Ray Vintage. Mm -hmm. Very excited about that. It yeah. got, um, I lo just looked a little few minutes before we came out and I was at over 200 views on the video. Nicely yeah. done. Um, I think like 20 new subscribers, something like that. Everyone counts, we love it. But I did um, using the vintage trays, like you'll see up here at front that I got, because I love getting those. Mm -hmm. um, and I get them really inexpensively. Red tags were 40% off. Sweet. So this was $1.89 less 40%, so just over a buck. And these are gonna be, um, I'll do I'll do the beachy pours in the glass that I got, because I think those are really pretty, but I yeah. gotta get some more sand. Okay. So, oh, but well, then- I mean, we're in Florida. We, we are. Beach are. Sand, sand will not be a problem. It's easy but, to come by. But I will do these, and um, I think these will be really pretty Sweet. Yeah. jewelry dishes or what yeah. have you. People love in them. The, in the, yeah, we sell quite a few. We do, and they're just so unique, so it's yeah. always nice. And we're gonna start putting them up on the website too, so that mm -hmm. you, can, uh, you can purchase them if you are not local. Right, exactly. Ship them right to you. Donna Penny says hello. Hello, hello. hello. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Um, I got this. Again, I'm not doing anything with it. It's chippy. It's got turquoise around it. I'm going to price it. I paid three bucks for it. I'm going to price it at one million dollars because I don't want it to sell because I want to take that home. <laughs> but if it sells, it sells. I mean, why don't you just keep it? Because I need the money. Mm -hmm. okay. that. So this trunk, how did I, she goes to my Goodwill, just so you know, and I miss all the good stuff. Anyway, carry on. Why is it yours? Because it's nearest to me. Okay, it is closer to you than Plus, it is I think to I me. put my name on there somewhere. Somewhere? I, 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 think, I think if we were to, to take a distance on that, I think it's about even. I think it's pretty much split. Sue, I'm sorry, you're precious, but you just stay over there and mind your business. And they pull stuff out every day. I know, so they do. The question might be which one of us has spent more money there. All right, you win. You win. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> which one's the more frequent shopper? That usually shuts my face. Um, anyway, so it's pretty nice. Boxes. It's empty. It just needs to be wiped out. And this one will definitely be getting a little makeover, makeover. For sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna paint this one today. I'm probably gonna go with the white on this one yeah. today. Yeah. And then maybe add some uh, trans. We love the transfer. Some, some patina. There's a voice from beyond. I hear something oh. delivery. Oh, okay. Um, another thing that really I'm not gonna do anything with except clean up a cute little sign that says you and me. I paid four bucks. Uh, 9.99 if that 
I mean, a lot of times I can get stuff or we can get stuff that you don't need to do anything with it. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the name of the game is get it, flip it, yeah. put it out. So I have a few of those pieces. Uh, just like this. I'm probably going to do nothing to this except for clean it. And I paid $2.99. And if it doesn't sell, you could always chip a paint. $2.99. I could. I could. You know, I could. But, that's, but I mean, I do think this is in really nice shape and it's food safe. Or... Yeah, just give it some hemp oil or maybe some sure. salve. Something that's food safe. Yeah, for sure. And I think we're good. Yep, I agree. And then I got this cute little cherub. It does have little hooks. It was $1.99. Um, uh, I think I'm going to paint him white and then I'm going to glaze him. Okay. He sounds cute. I think he sounds cute. I like that. Uh, I've got some nice yeah. floor de lis and another candlestick here. Let me what's this one? Yeah. This. Some good floor de lis. So this one I paid $5.99 for. This one I paid $3.99 for. Um, this one's probably gonna go close to 20. He looks heavy. I think it's not heavy, oh, but it's not, but it's nice and solid. Beautiful detail. It really does. Um, so that one I think it's gonna go on. Yeah. Sure on that. And then this one, um, this one's interesting because it's got a super sandy feel. So I almost like to be honest in the bottom of the ocean or something. To be honest, I kind of want to leave it the way it is mm -hmm. because oh, let's see if you feel it and you tell me what you think. Ooh. I think he's kind of cool just the way. Oh, it is. see, it does. It looks like a bottom of the ocean fine. It does. It looks like, like, like it's old. already been rustified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like uh, him. Throw some potato spray on it. Rustified. Is that a word? That's a good word. If it's not, I don't know. I, I like it. I think we should make it uh, two ninety nine for a candlestick. Um, I, I might. Have one of those. And I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's entirely possible that, That's going home with your that I have to keep this. Yeah, you ain't doing nothing with that, but taking that to your house. Who you uh, I'm gonna paint it, but I'm not painting the be the drawers. Let me see the front again. Oh, the drawers are precious. Yeah, I would paint it. Around yeah, it I think too. I'm gonna paint the green areas uh, to make it more not modern and not looking. forest. Well, it's still gonna be country. Yeah. But this this kind of does literally have my name written yeah, on it. Yeah, you're not doing that with that, but taking yeah. that home. Yeah, yeah. And I was shocked to find <gasps> these. What are those little Not only, oh, and they kind of are at an angle, not only were they there, but they were there long enough to be 40% off. Sweetness. So this has a, here, I'll hold this, you get that This one. has a, I don't know, probably a home goods tag on the back for 30 bucks a piece. Shoot, yeah. And oh then, gosh, yeah, they do. And then they were four ninety nine with forty percent off of that, so about two and a half bucks. I need to sell these. I would, I would go half of the retail, like fourteen ninety nine each. You think? Yeah, I think. Yeah. And what are you doing with them? Uh, Just paint them and awesome. then maybe glaze them. Gotcha. You and your glaze, lady. Me and my glaze. I love a glaze. A nice tray. I love a tray. Always. Tray. Good Trays are good. Um, probably just give it a good uh, paint and then either a transfer or one of the mesh stencils. Yeah, I was gonna say a stencil yep. too. Be cool. And then I have a bunch of really pretty silver trays. Mm -hmm. Guess what's gonna happen with those? Resin. 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 Resin top. Resin top. I have a section in the back marked Melissa's resin pouring pretties. So yep. that's where they're gonna go. So if you hear me go, resin top, resin top. I'm totally <laughs> stealing that from Ebony Caitlin. I don't know what the hell you're saying, but it sounds cute. Resin time. Is that what they say? Resin time. Yeah, they have a little, every <laughs> time they, they get little songs for everything. Aww. They have like a little insert and they go, resin time, resin time. <laughs> we need a t-shirt that says that. That's so anyway, oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, another one and um, I, the one in the bottom here, I'm definitely for sure keeping for myself. Nothing's going to happen to it. I just, I'm going to brag, brag about how gorgeous it is. That looks like and really this one I'm having a really hard time maybe selling two hmm. um 5.99 i like the shape of that I like i know bit. it's so i i have one almost just like that but the patina is a little bit better um on a stack of suitcases that i use as a side table so mm -hmm. i have two big suitcases and a lot of like 1930s suitcases mm -hmm. and then i have this on top and then i have like like a little candle and some flowers. Well, it's like you staged something It's like before. I staged something before. That's so smart. But this one. I, was, I didn't even notice the legs on it. This one has legs even. Oh, that's precious. This one is totally coming home it's with me. freaking gorgeous. Seven nine nine. I'm going to just, I'm going to just show that's, you. Is that for like perfumes and such? I don't think I've ever seen them with legs like that. And the, even the legs are detailed. Seven nine nine. So pretty. Rustified is for people who love rust. Rustified. That's right. That's right. That is a word. It is a new word, and we are sticking to it. Look at the handles. Look how pretty they are. 
Now you're just showing off. And and look, look at the pretty feet. If you could see the detail, I don't know how much that detail is coming through, but it's so beautifully etched on the. It's process. just gorgeous. And and all that funky patina, dirtiness. And it's mine. She's so happy. It's funky mine. cold patina. Yeah. Oh, that is new such shirt, a t-shirt. Oh my God, funky cold patina, that is it. <laughs> write it down, would you? You need to write that down. Seriously, write that down. Write it down. Okay. And then I just got like a handful of, oh, a, little stack, sure. a little stack full of art for me to paint over. Okay. I like to paint it and then put transfers on it. Just, they sell pretty well. Yeah, they actually do. Um, um, my stuff's easy, but I'll tell you what I did with it all. So I tend to hoard candlesticks, wooden ones in particular, because I just love them. And these were actually all purchased um, during my trip to Colorado a few weeks, month or two back. So obviously you can tell they're all different ones, different sizes, different styles. They were different colors, but what I planned to do is, um, what I like to do is take all different candlesticks and paint them all the same color. In this case, all black or dark. This one's actually dark brown. I didn't do anything with it, but make them all black so that I then take like, what do I have here? Seven of them. So I might take four and paint them um, with farmhouse sink over top of the black and then distress and let some of the black come through the white and put those in a grouping together to sell as an each, but they are together. So they look kind of matchy. Even and though they're people not. tend to buy more they than do. one. Mm -hmm. And then the other ones, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to use, um, what is that one called again? Vintage Duck Egg from Dixie Belle. So, so we could all just get a good laugh. It was, like, it was like, of course I have to pick this color. Sure. Because, I mean, again, the set sells. It's a beautiful it color. Does. People it love really these colors. Does. So I've already prepped these for painting over them. I'm just going to get started and pick a couple that'll go together. All right, Connie's checking in. She's watching. Hello, Hello. Connie. Checking in and watching. Hello, Ooh, thank Connie. you so much. Connie, tell what you did that you sent me pictures of today. Uh -oh. She did. I'm afraid. No, it's no, probably no, a good no, thing because Connie's good. like so creative. No, no, it was good. She she was here for class last weekend. Actually, she was here, was here for two classes last week. Right. And she bought some of the new molds by Prima. Okay. Oh, the molds. Okay. Uh -huh. And she she got the the modeling materials, but she she doesn't particularly like the modeling materials. Okay. She likes the cracky crustiness of it, but she feels like um, she gets frustrated trying to clean it up. I think it's lack of patience. Oh, I'm that way, Miss Connie, big time. Um, so I hear you. And and so she she got out her hot glue gun. Oh no. And she made molds with her hot glue gun. Oh sweet. Why does that sound like Miss Connie? How freaking creative is that? So she sent me pictures of. Her hot glue molds. That's pretty. That's clever. That's very clever. Very awesome. Miss Sue, yes, may I ask you to do me a huge favor? Yes, ma'am. I forgot the hot gun. I'm probably going to need that. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's pretty clever. I need to see those pictures. Just when I sent them to you in private because I didn't want to share them with everybody. Aw. But they're fabulous, so you should share them. So, too bad. Now the whole world knows. Well, maybe not the whole world, but. We're not quite that big yet. Some of Jacksonville knows. <laughs> someday, someday the whole world might know. That's right. Thank you, Miss Sue. You're very welcome. Oh, that's pretty on there. Look at the coverage of Dixie Bell. That's just yeah. Gorgeous. This is one coat. I don't think I'm gonna even need a second. Coat. I don't think so either. I think you're right. And it's funny because when I'm so uh, Lily and I were working on some painting chickens and roosters yesterday, uh -huh. uh, and we had this. I saw them; they're precious. We had this color out. Uh, I painted them. Lily uh, waxed them. We'll have a video coming of that, so you can see how nicely it goes over Thanks. glass and ceramic as well. Yeah, um, that was a lot of fun. But we were. I was commenting that it has great coverage, and it doesn't feel chalky when you paint with it right but when it dries it does okay and i find that fascinating it is a chalk paint is that right it is a chalk paint okay okay well, that is then that's kind of weird how it does that so i don't know if you can tell but this is one coat 
I mean, oh, it's wow, that's really full good. on coverage. One coat. Yeah. That's pretty Sweet. incredible. Pretty cool. Now, it would probably do better if I weren't sticking my fingers in it. I know, same here. But, you know. All right, here's Sometimes I just can't be. I can't be. We're not very neat. We are right. just not. We're, yeah, there's no. There's just, we it. haven't figured, quite figured out the method to paint things and be tidy about it. And the more I try, the more I'm wearing. So it's mm -hmm. like I'm just, yeah, if you try too hard, it's just, but it's not going to work. Havoc. Havoc. It is. It makes havoc. I've worn more paint lately on clothes, fingers, and hair than I've gotten on anything. So it's all good. So I'm curious, guys. Um, we are considering starting to do some online classes or maybe having an online group that's a membership group that we do classes in where you can just purchase the products and all get on um, once or twice a week or Teresa will get on once or twice a week and we can do live classes with you in the groups where you can get on and you can ask questions mm -hmm. and we can even um, broadcast it over to you so we can see your piece. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you guys think about that? In the safety of your own home. In the safety of your own on. home, based on what's going on. We know a lot of people are concerned. I get a lot of questions like about the resin or like the resin pours. They really want to come, but they're just not quite feeling that it's okay to come yeah, out. I'm not getting that warm and fuzzy quite yet. We, yeah, I, and I totally get that. Yep, same. Same, same. So yeah, what do you think about that, you guys? I think it'll be fun. You know, I just... If you're stuck at your house anyway, you might as well do something fun and creative, and we can help you through all that. I'm pretty sure everybody out there has gone through the entire Netflix file, so. Yeah, I don't think there's anything <laughs> left to binge, frankly, although I just started The Office again. Oh, <laughs> greatest show. You and John, man. Greatest show. Not as good as Breaking Bad, but just saying. Breaking Bad, I have no desire to see Breaking Bad. Um, That's John watches exhausting series. John watches The Office, like I come, it, it, it literally was, what, what what night was it? Saturday night that we were driving home? Was debating what he was watching. It was Saturday <laughs> night, it was Saturday night because I wasn't allowed to leave here until those chairs were done. <laughs> they had to be done, so done, and done. Yeah, it was self-imposed <laughs> exile. Uh, and, and the owner seems very happy with it. Her oh, husband came so in to gorgeous. pay for them. They're really pretty. I hope you saw my little my little TikTok teaser that I posted. Oh, they were just stunning. That's a great job. And um, we were driving home. It was like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. And Sue and I are literally having a bet as to what John is watching. Was it gonna be, my guess was either The Office or Bob's Burgers. Yeah, what is Bob's Burgers? Another one of those animated? Uh, anime. Oh, if you I like those. those, you probably would like Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers is pretty cool. So you okay. probably, and I can even sit through it. Really? Okay. Okay. Like I don't like it, but I don't I hate it either. Tolerate it. Like it doesn't. It's it's not like okay, I'm leaving the room now. Right. It's more like rolling my eyes. I don't understand why you like this. Okay. Yeah, I've got like a lot of that at so home. So you know it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Sue. Um. So who won the bet? So and Sue's bet was Star Wars, and oh, I said. Oh no, I said Marvel movies. No, no, no. Was you Star Wars or Marvel movies? No, you originally. I'm going through the whole conversation. Okay. You said. He's probably watching Star Wars, but I know it's not going to be the Mandalorian because that one's already, he's already watched, he's already caught yeah, up with that. just finished that. So you know it's not that. So, and he, you're like, but I don't know what the other movies are. I said, are you sure it's not going to be, you're going to go with the movie, are you sure it's not a Marvel? Because there's a lot of Marvels out right now. Yeah, there are. And so, and so she went with Marvel and I texted him on the way home to ask what he was watching and... What, what, which one was it that he was watching? It was, I don't remember which one it was, but it was a Marvel. It was a Marvel. So I knew if he was watching, it was a Marvel. But I thought, because it was so late, that he would have been brain dead and not into a movie. <laughs> that this would have been his quiet time. Right. And, and, I, and I asked him, he's like, why are you asking? And I said, well, we had a little bet. And he asked who won and what the guesses were. <laughs> and he says, well, I had a Coke late. And which one? I'm going to share the paint with you. Um, and he... You, you, you what? I'm doing it. Let's do it. Um, and and he's like, well, if I hadn't had a Coke this afternoon, I would be tired and I would be watching The <laughs> Office. But I had a Coke and so I was a little wired. Oh, boy. So I decided to watch a movie late. 
Well, it's funny to know that he's got some regular things that you all know exactly what he's doing. Yeah, That's he's like, funny. so what you're basically saying is I'm predictable. And it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. what is it? I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm not saying that he's predictable, but, but you know exactly what he's going to watch and when and for how long. Is that the same thing as predictable? I don't know. Oh, I love this coverage. This is the first really is, thing is, yes, it really is. We, we've been very good at not Ooh. at not using it because we didn't want it open and out here right. and getting sneak peeks and all of that stuff. Oh, so, dude, I love this. Like, I'm not going to need more than one coat either. I mean, I'm just stressing anyway, but. Yeah, but seriously, this, one coat is great. This is doing it. Yeah. I love it. Now, is this, um, this is like any other chalk paint you would need to seal it with a wax or yeah, top coat? Yeah, we're going to have to seal it with okay. a wax or a top coat. Gotcha. I'm gonna do the old white wax a -roo. Somebody no, no. wants to know what your opinions are of Dixie Belle versus other paints. How are you liking it so far? Um, okay, so the one thing I haven't tried on Dixie Belle yet, because I tried it for the first time yesterday and I was getting chickens. And so <laughs> that didn't give me not a huge thing to go Not a huge thing, but although I'll say the first thing I said, because the first one I painted was a ceramic chicken. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you paint ceramics over anything, yeah. it's hard to cover. It is. Um, it gets streaky and pulley. And right. That. And I'll say that first coat was divine. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, I bet this is great for painting mason jars. Yeah. Um, that was my first impression. And then I kind of went to the second coat. It did pull off a little bit. So I was clearly overworking it. Okay. Um, or I needed more dry time in between coats, one or the other. Okay. So I did find that a bit, um, but otherwise really good. I love, the thing I love most about Bungalow is its blendability. Yeah. Um, going in and, and doing the layering. Right, another chalk paint. Another chalk paint, yeah. right. Um, going on and doing the layering that I love to do. And I really prefer that over some of the other paints because uh, some of the other brands that I'd use, they don't dry the same color. And yes. so like blending became tricky because I couldn't always tell if I had blended it the way that I wanted it. Blended. Yeah. Because the color right. was true and you couldn't find out the color until you waxed or sealed it. And then it's too late to fix. Right. Okay. So I really love Bungalow for that. And I haven't tried that with Dixie Bell yet. Yeah, I'd be curious to see how so, Dixie Belle blends. So I definitely see that in the very near future because mm -hmm. I want to see, like, I I, I want to know the answer to that question. Um, if I were to go against some of the other chalk paints that I have used in the past, let's see. Um, I love fat paint. Yes, I'm a big um, fan of that too. Yeah, fat paint was amazing. We used to sell that at another store we used to own. Mm -hmm. And um, I do love the coverage there. However, I'll say that um, it, it left a super thick fat, you know, very fat. Mm, um, see what you did there. Yeah, a very <laughs> fat sort of chalky. Like you had to use a lot of it because it was so thick, but it, it did was. have really good coverage. It did, for sure. I think this has equal coverage. This is one coat again. Yeah, I think this has equally good coverage as fat, but without, like, you're gonna use a lot less of this. Okay. Because. Like, I'm pretty much one dip. Because it's so much this. thinner, so you're not gonna go, like, not as much has to be there for that same coverage. Right. And it seems to respond really well to a little bit of water being on the Klingon brushes, too, which, by the way, is what we're using for Klingon brushes because are, they clean themselves. And these are S30s. Yep. Um, so no, S50s are the big ones. Yep. And so, uh, it just seems to spread nice with a little bit of water in the brush. Right. I've never used any Sloan. Um, Nor have I. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, I've tried CC Caldwell and it's good. Uh, this is certainly in the comparable, mm -hmm. um, family to that. I'm trying to think what others are out there. Uh, I hated vintage furniture paint, which was really more of a, like a fusion type where it had the top coat built yeah. into it it's just and it was it really was much more latexy yeah and i really disliked yeah vehemently disliked that i had a couple pieces where it literally just came up in sheets yeah coming off of it and i didn't like um like you didn't like the finish it felt rubbery right so i i was an adamant disliker of uh of that one uh the miss lillian's no chalk chalk paint mm -hmm. uh, i don't like the smell of that so that really was yeah, obnoxious that would be a 
turn off. That would sure. be a turn off. That like that one, I did not feel like I would want to paint it, like, like for any like it, Yeah, it would give me a headache. Yeah. So I didn't care for that one. Um, that's just these are just personal opinions. Like right. everybody has their own. Some I know some people that are great furniture. Uh, I'm just splashing paint now. I was gonna say I um, I know I need a shower, but prefer it to be clear. I was trying to get down into this little angel or something here neck area. Um, but that's you know I'm not I'm not like trying to give bad advice you know no, it's bad commentary it's just my my personal um, opinion. Yeah. So I have really loved the bungalow. It has been my my go to without fat. Right. And see, her and I differ a bit on that. I I don't mind it, but I don't know if I've just never given enough dry time or maybe have been a little shy on putting it on my brush, painting furniture with it. But it, it just it's not my personal favorite. I think it's just the operator error over here. And everybody has, you know, our different touches and the different ways. Like mm -hmm. I do a lot of cross hatching and you tend yeah. to be more straight lines. Exactly. And so that's gonna make a difference in, in the the finish of the product and how it comes out. Yeah. And sure. so it might just be a preferential, you know, I think a lot of it is just what kind of how you, you work use. and does it work with how you work. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Um other color selection I love. I love Bungalow's color selection. I just I do think they're missing a little like on the pinks. They've yeah, got, they've got amazing blues. They do, blues but and they're greens. definitely short on the like the the pinks and the purples, right? Which I know are up your alley. And the yellows. They're kind of not really like a bright yellow. There's no beautiful. That's true. There's no beautiful like, like just a soft sunset or a buttery. Yeah, yeah the nice buttery yellow. Oh, um, holy cow, Dixie Bell's got some color. Oh my gosh. Every color in the rainbow. Plus and then some. Plus all the little mini colors. But they're gorgeous. They're just colors that I've not seen in any other line. Like mm -hmm. I just, they're just so unique. I can't wait. This, I'm literally one coating most of these. Like so I am crazy. curious to see how blendable it is. Because I will say that, like I know fat would not blend well because yeah. it's just too fat. Yeah. If you will. Too thick and it's fat. Too thick and fat. It would, it, it would take entirely too much effort to blend yeah you'd have to really probably really water it down which would kind of kind of defeat the defeat the purpose yeah, yeah absolutely um so like that to me wouldn't be my my go-to necessarily right um, for blending for blending but um, and of course diy paint is great for blending except for that's where like i said that you don't get the true color and until it's done yeah and um it is a beautiful paint and i do like it um, it's just not my, yep. I mean, and again, you've used them all, so you can comment on all of them because you know what they do for you. Yeah, exactly. But, and, and the style that I like to paint. And that's the thing. Right. It's the style that I like to paint. Yep. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right. So I've got a first coat down. Are you cool with me making a little bit of noise here? Of course. All right. I'm going to do some drying so I can get a second coat on and start distressing and showing you what I mean. I mean, as you can see, probably already, oh, I'm not going to touch all these. They just kind of look like they're in a grouping together. Like that's the point. You can make totally different things with the same color. But if they belong together. You stage them together. You sell them together. But you price them separately. All right. What are you doing with that one? I'm just gonna do the white here on the outside. Sure. Having time with a Dixie Bell is really good for blending. Is it? Okay. Good. Now she's even more excited to try it. <laughs> Apparently really hard to open, however. <laughs> oh, Gator Trap. That's why we have Miss Sue. She's strong. Thank you. I love the shape of these candlesticks. Uh, I do. I, I'm a candlestick hoarder. Every time I see them, I've actually bought one just like that before. And you get to go to the same places, Goodwills and thrift stores and things, and you kind of start seeing the same stuff come around. Like there's a lot, obviously, of the same style candlesticks, same candlesticks, same furniture pieces. You sort of kind of get to know the stuff. And see, this is a difference here. I don't know if it's because of the color being a little lighter. But this is just one coat of Bungalow 47. And you can see, although it is white, covering dark. So that probably has a lot to do with it. But it's still pretty streaky. 
versus Dixie Belle's um, vintage duck egg over a dark. It's practically not needing another coat, but I might just give it a little touch up because I am going to distress through, like I said, to show you all the black underneath. I just think that's a cool pop. Now, I will say that um, it's not toxic or disgusting or anything, but there is a smell with the Dixie Belle that I am not accustomed to. It's not offensive, but it is a smell. It's not offensive, but it is, it is a, an you interesting know. smell. Yeah. I definitely smell it. I know Lily came out here when I was painting the, the ducks yesterday, or the roosters rather, right? Um, with the duck egg. Um, and she was like, whoa, that has a smell. And again, it's not toxic, it's low lock. Right. It just is. And, and that's one of the things that people don't understand too, is low lock doesn't mean no smell. Exactly. Exactly. I think that is a misconception for sure. Yeah, it's just the volatile chemicals that are not there. So this is perfectly safe to paint at home. It just has a smell too. Right. Drinking tiara wearing 80s dance party fab furniture Friday. Whoop, 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 whoop. Is any of that actually happening on Friday? Uh, yes. The Melissa party. We will make it happen. Yes. That is why I love Miss Sue. All right, back to super towels. Yes, right there. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you need any dance? Ask and you shall receive. Yeah, I don't know how much 80s clothes I have. I think that's all I have. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you have in concert shirts and what have you up the end here. Yeah, I have my Breakfast Club t shirt. I can wear that. It's full of paint. Shocker. <laughs> and it would be Not perfect. much isn't, but yeah. Well, it says, hey, ladies. Hello, hello. Hey, ladies. Yes, we have our tiaras and our mimosas and our 80s gear. And we'll have to low crank some 80s. Music so that you can still hear us blabber. No, no, no copyright for me. Yeah. We don't have the rights to the music. Time for coat number two. Yeah, you know, we sadly don't have the rights to the music, so. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't do any of that. Okay. That. Well, you know what? Then we're just gonna have to sing it for you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, yes, I'll be there on Friday. That's the way it is. Yay! It's so fun. All right, coat number two. Oh, I like. Oh, I like that one. I like that color. How'd that, how'd that go? Don't mind me. How'd I'm that just, work for you? Don't there, mind Melissa? me. I'm just flinging paint myself. Just paint yourself. Yep, yep. The paint flinger. Paint flinger. Another t-shirt in the works. <laughs> how to be time for a patina party. Woo woo! woo, -woo. Patina can I bring party. Patina? Oh, yes, you can. Woo -woo. I have a dog named Patina, for those of you who are so not in the knowledge. Cute. She's so big now, my golly. I remember when she was just teen tiny little baby patina. I know, it's she's she's just two now and, and I'm seeing every day another little another little video of her being a puppy. Aww. Because she was she was born in our house. Uh, we had just rescued a dog and apparently, unbeknownst to us, the puppy was pregnant when we rescued the dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. And so out came Patina. And and yeah, basically. <laughs> There's a little more to that story, but we won't go into that right, today. Right. And uh, yeah, so Sue, mm -hmm. Sue and I, there was another puppy born. Um, unfortunately, it didn't make it. I do remember that. And, and so after we found that out, um, after that happened, we uh, Sue and I stood watch over her all night until mm -hmm. she had the baby. And, and pretty much every moment since then. Uh, and she was, she's a good mom. And the baby was healthy and now she's two and I can't believe she's so big. She's so big. I remember her running across the store floor where we used to be <laughs> and just coming in and she'd all be wobbly like a big baked potato running across the floor. She was. She was so fat because, you know, most of the time puppies have more than one puppy. Mm -hmm. Or moms have more than one puppy. I guess puppies don't have puppies. I mean, that'd be weird. Um, most of the time there's more than one in the litter. And since there wasn't, she got all the food. She was all chunka chunka. She is super rolly poly. She's so sweet. Super rolly poly. Speaking of puppies, we had a free in house consultation for a dog trainer for our not so little puppy because he, uh, we have a 
almost nine month old golden retriever named Stephen Francis Murphy. And he does well in many things. He's crate trained, house trained, he's a lover, but he's overly lovey when he walks and when he greets new people. And mama can't hold back a 75 pound dog anymore. So we're gonna try and figure that out a little bit. He's a good, good boy. He's just, he will kill you with his love. <laughs> he's so big and so frumpy. So, and we started fun. leaving Caesar on in the day for the dogs. See, we need to do that. Jake leaves the office on for him when he goes to work. <laughs> My dog is being secretly implanted with the office. Yeah, we're it's doing hysterical. it with Caesar. That's funny. We'll sit there and watch the dogs on TV. It's really That's cute. hysterical. <laughs> we did have free dog channel for a little while. We would keep it on for him, and you would literally watch him. He would just stare and watch and look, and if a ball was thrown, he would try and go chase it. It's hysterical. I love that Patina has kind of figured out that it's all on the TV. Yeah. And and she sits and watches it. One of the watches it too. <laughs> she has a little movie buddy. Yeah. Just Netflix and chilling. Okay, so Zoe is good. not apparently that smart because she always goes to the back door and starts barking. Really? <laughs> Sometimes the front door, but usually the back door. She knows what to do. Because the TV is near the back door. So if there's a dog barking from that direction, Aww. clearly it's coming from the backyard. That's pretty funny. All right, two down. I don't have too much paint on me today. No, that would be me today. Yeah, that that's me, that's me today. I've got I'm a paint sprinkler over there. I am a ch -ch 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 craziness. Covered in the spots. Spots. It's all right. We don't have our cat ears on today, so we're gonna need to do something else. So this is how we judge our appearance. This is how we judge. Good job, Melissa. Ah, good job. Look at her just slip that word in there. Gotta slip it in somehow. You better amaze balls at one time too. I'm just gonna wait for it. Mm -hmm. That's not so much my word, although technically I did use it the other day. You did? You know, because I was telling you about the other oh. person I was watching. Well, but that's not using it. That's telling me that you heard it, but I'll take but it. But I did use the word I, to tell true. you what word it was that I heard. I will take that. I mean, I'm acting like I coined the damn phrase. I didn't, but clearly it's still fun to say. <laughs> And I'm gonna try and take as much ownership of it as I can. Right. Anna says that her gypsy girl loves to watch anything with sharks. John. Oh, really? Interesting. That is interesting. Oh gosh. I'm surprised she's not afraid. Yeah, that's funny. Probably just likes the action of the sharks. Maybe. The splashing sounds. Gypsy Maybe she girl. likes the. No, no. Donna. 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 Oh, okay. That one really. Cool. I know. I just. This is why I don't talk to people. I'm very awkward. <laughs> no, I'm in my paint that really flogged. Oh, really... oh, I felt that. I thought that was me doing it over here to me. Oh. I guess, guess that was you. It was me. Shocker. I am the paint splatter. We've got so many t-shirts in the works right now. We're going to have to. Okay, so, you know, the collaboration mm -hmm. um, that I was talking about earlier, the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was one. I really, really liked her video. Um, her style is right up our alley. Yeah. But I love how she started her video. Okay. It's like a close up of her. And she goes, Shh, don't tell anyone I've been thrifting. <laughs> <laughs> that was, Shh, don't tell anyone I've been thrifting. That's perfect. It was really funny. That is perfect. Oh, well, hello. What is wrong with my hands I'm, today? Girl. I don't know. I'm gonna just kind of scooch a little I bit. I think I might need that mimosa. I don't oh, know. I'm a little nervous over here. I promise I haven't already had one. Mm, that's what I'm wondering. No, it's all good. And I'm just kind of half judging a second coat of this on here with this Dixie Belle because honestly, this coverage was phenomenal and I'm going to distress it. But just to get some of the swirly brush strokes out, just give it enough. So you can't see the bungalow is gonna, I mean, the Dixie Belle is gonna need a second coat, much like. Yeah, the bungalow. Did. Yeah, so yeah, for sure. I love this color. I can't wait to dip into these colors and start experimenting. So much color for you, cause you mm. like. I really, I like color every now and again, but you really love painting with color. I do, I do, and it's hit or miss, frankly, cause a lot of folks like the neutral things. That's what their homes are primarily, mm -hmm. and of course, I need. I, I do those things as well because you want a few things that sell, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And, and I'm much more pragmatic. I yeah. just want to sell things. Yep, exactly. And and I enjoy totally painting. And I enjoy painting. Yeah. And so it it rarely matters to me. Sometimes it does. I admit, sometimes yeah. it does. 
it rarely matters to me what color I'm painting. Yeah. It, I, 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 I literally just enjoy having the brush in my hand. Yeah. Whereas I, I do, but I, I get bored easy and you know, I just, uh, sometimes I just, if, it, if I'm doing it and it's not fun for me anymore, whether I'm selling it or not personally, it's just, I just don't want to do it. But I also know, like Melissa said, you got to, the stuff that sells a lot is neutral so well i just love the, like that. i love the transformation mm -hmm. so again it doesn't necessarily matter what color to me right i just want to see the like the like finish the before, and the before and after yeah and i will say like painting those or doing those chairs was really hard one chair done i knew what they all looked like mm -hmm. and so like it was kind of like uh -huh. so it was like all my motivation was gone at that point. yeah 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 hey you gotta get these dried so i can at least Get those done. Lots of color and over 64 colors to pick from with Dixie Bella. Come on, Pink. Uh, and it's gonna happen. You know it, Miss Carla. It's gonna happen. Oh my god, the patina though. We are gonna have to show you how to use that. Yeah. And, and like, like, a just and like everything will be like rusty. <laughs> with spheres on top or yeah like I don't, I don't actually know if I have any at my own home yeah I, I'm pretty sure I don't I think I have actually I have one set in my foyer on a stand uh -huh. on a piece of furniture that I made using a wine glass and a like a one of those flat wine glasses oh yeah yeah I know, you know what you're talking about I'm talking about mm -hmm. I don't have the stems mm -hmm. stemless glass yep yep and a candlestick okay and I Glued them together with E6000, and I then I did the faux mercury glass. Oh, yeah, yeah. And painted this, and painted the candlestick white. Okay, oh, that um, sounds cute. So I really like that one, and then I then I did like a a um, a burlap bow. Okay. On them, and I, I think those are the Ooh. only ones. Those are just like tea lights. Yeah. Oh, and I have some sand in them, and I, that's about that's about the only. Yeah, one. And I, it's just because I really thought they were cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they would sell or not. Yeah. But I really liked them. Yeah. So exactly. That's what you do. All right. I think I'm gonna go ahead and white wax these because it's here, and I'm just gonna dry and start sanding and white waxing also. And I didn't get to white wax these my chickens yesterday because Lily really did it. The way and, you see them, they're so cute. And um, Lily said, and I'll know here in a minute that the consistency was very much like Miss Mustard Seed. Oh, yay. <laughs> Which I love, Miss Mustard Seed. That's my fave. It dries relatively quick. Goodwill as long as they were, that 
they were marked down. Let me guess, is that duck egg? Is that uh, their version of duck egg too? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is vintage duck egg. Oh, I guess it's technically a different color. We have a lot of candlesticks here, John, that would double as weapons. I'm just saying. Where's my herb? Right? Don't make us... This mustard seed in the shop with the candlestick? Right? Just made up your own board game. <laughs> we don't sell mustard, Miss Lockerty anymore, but it works. We don't. But it works. It's still a lovely paint, and I will always support it. What do you guys think? Very pretty. No, yeah. don't bring it in. You take it to them, Mr. John. I, I like zooming in. Get your, uh, make yourself useful over there. Can you see that? Pretty, and that took no time. Now she's working on hope. She's got love done. Now she's working on hope. And this second coat of bungalow still didn't give it a complete amount of coverage, but I'm okay with that because I'm going to sand these pretty good in distress, and then I'll probably white wax over top too, just for the heck of it. White wax on white paint? What's yeah. the... What's the Advantage of white wax on white paint, you even see um, it. Because it's right there, and I don't feel like getting up to get any other wax, and it'll seal them. I can bring you another wax. You you no, wax? actually, I don't mind. I think the white wax will be cool. I'm just experimenting a little. No, you know what? I won't. I need clear, because that's going to cover up my black that I'm just pressing through, and I don't want that. I don't know if we'll get that far. Let me start with the blue ones. I didn't think that through. Story of your life. Weapon. Okay, so even before I distress and all that, look, these look like they're a little grouping, don't they? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter that they're different, they're different ones. Once they're the same color. Yep. People's eyes just attract to that, and then you stage them, obviously, together. And I think I just... You say the list of groups of three? At least yep. odd numbers. Yeah, and I had seven, so I just did four and three, but that's just how it worked out. This little guy might need a little work. All right, just going to do a quick bit of distressing. A couple of these that were really light colored wood, so that's why I like to paint a dark underneath when I'm distressing through so you can see the dark through the light color paint. Or it's nice though if you're doing like a mantle and you want two on each side, but you don't want them to be symmetrical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it helps that they're different sizes. Sizes, yeah, yeah for sure. But that's not like two and two. It's yeah. Nope, again, talking from a person who might have staged at home once or twice. Once or twice. Day. Actually, I have a house I have to go work on tomorrow. I have to go and pick furniture tonight for, um, for I have a client coming back in town. We've been doing some design work for her. Okay. So she's coming back on the 4th, which is quite nice because she's in the military. Aww. She's coming back from Afghanistan on the 4th. Aw, good for her. We thank her for her service. White wax result. I'm just going back and forth between my little soft 220 flexible sandpaper bar and this 220 that you normally put on a sander just because it still feels a little more gritty. I also don't want it to scratch. Now I have love and I have hope. Oh, so special. So sweet. All right, what you need, girl? I think I'm sitting on the board. You are. Okay. You're good. Speaking of special. <laughs> That's me. That is me. I love this one. This is probably my favorite one. It looks all hourglassy. I don't know why I'm doing this. I was trying to do this. I'm Italian. I'm like, talk. And all of a sudden, my sandpaper was gone. What? Right? Oh, oh, oh. just like that. She's like a little ninja. Just snucked right in there. Ready to hold up hope? Probably. If you feel like it. I need to hold up lots of things today. Sorry. Got you back. Well, hope I'm for gonna... all of mankind. <laughs> I am not going to white wax, wax this because I think I'm going to dirty wax this one. Ooh, dirty wax. Dirty wax. Dirty wax. Like that. You want to 
want to take them and show them these pre wax if you don't mind? John, what's his middle I name? I only want to show he Melissa's stuff. One. That's a lie. It's not. Can I give him one? The Navy gave him one NMN. Do I want to go? Oh, I think I've heard No this. middle name. Ah. He's John NMN Mom. Initials. They gave me initials as if there's no such thing as an empty form in a military. Uh, you have to have all filled in. Everything needs to be filled in. No blanks. I could have given And if there's a blank, they write this page is having 20 blanks. Seriously? 100% serious. That's wild. That's wild. Hmm. Who knew? So, yeah, his Navy middle name is hmm. Nimmin. Well, that opens up a whole realm of possibilities on what his Nimmin. great you middle name is. Patrick's watching. Hi, babe. What do you think so far? These are all coming home into our new house. Mm -hmm. They're not, I'm selling them. <laughs> he was happy to see him go. <laughs> Patrick, you got a bigger house to accommodate more stuff. No, bless To accommodate heart. Teresa's addictions. My addictions are buying things, but not to keep, to sell. My addiction is making money, painting things to make them look pretty. Sorry, it's just the cold hard truth. It's gonna, it's gonna have a, oh, what's the matter? Sent a message to her fourth grade teacher, though. Oh, oh goodness. It's the happy show. Right. We're sorry to hear that, but oh. I don't even think I know. I was in the military. My dad was, rather, so I was all over. I couldn't even tell you who any of my teachers were. Patrick says hi. He did, he did say that already, didn't he? Oh, he did his little hand thing. He did his hand wave. Hi, babe, again. Or we could be like John. Hi! 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 Uh, Johnny had just called and said him and the boys and Pete are coming over to swim on Saturday. Oh, fun. Aww. Yeah, this weather. It's been so good. Teresa cool says those camels look at each EM table. Oh, indeed. Indeed, they do. Wait, are you looking at the. Which one? Uh, the one back there? I don't know which one. That's I don't know, but if it's that one. With that beachy end table. Anna, you gotta be way more clear. We have some. Oh no, people. Anna. That's her. Okay, yeah, that's hers. It's the one that I have my eye on that I'm I asked her when she brought it in. I'm like, how much are you pricing that for? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, a dollar? She's like, no. Because I really like it, it might end up coming home with me. And yes, they would, Anna. Way to try and sell me on that dang end table. You know I haven't taken home a full paycheck because I buy everything as it comes in. What is that, your little cherub? My little cherub. Aw. He's so pretty now. He's so cute. It's not, golden, it's not golden gaudy. I love making ceramic figurines, like whether they're animals or cherubs or angels, just a, a funky I just, I don't know. I think it updates them a little bit and it makes them fun. All right. I'm taking forever in a day, so I'm at least ready to just wipe my face. Lowness. Stop it. Attention to detailness. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true at all. ADDness. That's not true. That might be true. Attention deficit disorder. Gonna attention deficit my foot attention where the sun TV. don't shine, mister. Mm. Ooh, I almost made this, this non-promotable. Family show. I almost made this non-promotable. <laughs> not right. always. Not always a family show. Oh. Depends okay. on your family. That is true. If you're Italian, if you're Italian, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly aight. What are you doing there, darling? I, I just, have. May I have the wax if you don't mind? Or you... Gah. <sighs> Thanks. Uh, Gah. I want to use Dixie Gah wax too. Gah. Okay. All right. Can't wait to see what this is going to do. Yeah. We're, we're at an hour, so. Are we? Okay. I'm going to one So you do, it. yeah, you finish your, you do yours. You know, hurry. Wax, okay. your, wax your candlesticks. All right. Uh, and I'm just letting you know that we're we're at the hour. That we're at hour. the hour. That's well, I do think we were a few minutes late. Well, that's true. Sue screamed out okay. something we thought was obscene, which turned out just to be it's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Yeah, it was more in that tone. Think of other words that end in "ock." Whoa! Can we show? She was really close there. I mean, that could be a clock. It could be. Uh, well, oh, you're saying an "ock." An "ock," not in. Not in duck egg blue. Mm -mm, no. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see what I did there too. Okay, I don't think I like the idea of the white wax on this, but it's too late now and it's okay. You can still see the black. But there's one. 
I mean, you could always go over it with a dark wax or a clear wax and, you want and a different take wax? it back. Just kind of blend it back. You a can little. blend it back. I can, I can get you a different wax. Give me a dark wax, Miss Sue, real quick. Let's just try and experiment a little bit while we have coffee. I like to mix the light in the dark. Yeah, wax. I've not done that before, so let's, let's make it a first today. Woo! Let's do it. Give you so, the uh, Miss Mustard Seed. Ooh, that's the one. Let's give that a go. Thank you, Miss Sue. So yeah, these are done in this um, vintage duck egg, Dixie Belle, and then the black is distressed through where you can see it, it pops, and I have white wax on it. I don't know, I'm kind of not liking that. I want it a little dirtier than that, so we're just going to Usually, if you want on. things dirty, you don't go for white. You need another yeah. uh, wax brush? Uh, no, I'm just dipping. Dip it's like I'm go. not saying. I'm going to dip and try the bottom and see what I think. I'm not saying, I'm just, you know, saying. I'm not saying, but well, that's not terrible. Dirties them up a little bit. I just this a little bit before I... Okay. And you know, Dixie Belle has dirt in all kinds I know, of I'm so excited about that. <laughs> that will probably be in, I'm not saying, oh no, it will be in this Friday's. That will probably be in um, maybe Mondays, the Dixie Belle's dirt. Awesome. Because I love dirt. Yeah. That's another love thing that I'm excited about. to try because I've seen that used on lots of things. Oh, that's better. Yeah, we were a retailer for briefly for another paint product. I carried it, um, and I love me some dirt. Yeah, it is kind of a funky way to make things aged, and that's what we do around here. We get things new, we make them look old. Isn't that a weird thing? It, it really is. It's weird how that happens. All right, I'm gonna take this up front and show y'all, and you tell me what you think. I guess I found my glasses on, I could see this. Oh, look, there's better light. Take it up and show you. Oh, well, take well, the cord with me. me. All right, so that is. There's a little bit of white wax still on there, which is actually kind of cool, but you can sort of see the. Let me see how the the black pops through. I just like the bright top coat or top color, and then the black shining through. So just gives it a cool distressed look. I'm gonna do that with the rest of these vintage duck egg blue ones. And then I'll pop the dark wax, the white ones too, whenever they're distressed. I'm really liking this little treasure box. Yeah, that's cute. What, 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 what should I put on it? Do you want a transfer? Or are you doing a stencil? I'm gonna do a transfer on these. No, we only have 965,000 to choose from we have an awesome selection of the Prima transfers. We do, and I can't wait to show you. I'll do a little walkthrough maybe this weekend once we get the store reset for the weekend and show you the cool new display yes. that we made yes. out of a box spring. She's so proud of herself, and she should be. John, John did a good job. I built know. it and did a wonderful job. It was Melissa's It was my vision, vision but it was John's handiwork. And I thought they were both crazy. But and Sue ripped apart the box for you. Yes. So all I did was needs to be destroyed. All I did was complain that I didn't think it was going to work. Sue deconstructed it. Teresa poo pooed the idea. <laughs> uh, I had the vision, and John informed the completion, the intricate operation to get everything in place. And it actually does look super cool. And then I loaded it up yesterday. And it was like, it it really. Like there's a lot of room and it's just a unique, unique piece of them. And our transfers will no longer cascade and fall over like that's races. right. Very easy to see. You can tell everything that we have. Cute. They line up very nicely. 3D, which is how they we have to buy them in. You know, I was kidding before when I said I was gonna take these home and I'm really not, but I don't know. I kinda like these. <laughs> Babe, if you're watching. <laughs> Patrick, turn away. This might end up Cover in a box ears. before you see it packed. <laughs> we'll just Cover look. your ears. <laughs> well, you can always go with the idea, and I've done this before, like the cabinet with the pretty mirrors that uh, I did for the video. Okay. And then I put them in the store. I had them in the store for a month at the price I was willing to sell them at. But, but hoping that they wouldn't. But hoping that it wouldn't. Gotcha. Well, that's why that frame is going to be one million dollars yeah because i'm hoping it doesn't well so i did put a slightly more realistic price <laughs> you don't think a million is and gets asking a little too much for that and it's and worth it i think it is 
and uh, nobody bought this, so <laughs> guess what happened? Guess what happened? I got to take it home. Yay. I'm sure John, just like Patrick will be, was thrilled and super excited. Whatever she wants is fine. See, that's what Patrick says too. Then but, he growls, but <laughs> that's okay. But then that uh, then that one headboard I had that I had that make me want to sell it tag. Oh yeah, that sold. That sucker sold because it was gorgeous. And and that was gorgeous. That did not. And work. what the heck? Right? That, that was Miss Mustard Tito's final. Oh, that surely was. That was a beauty. That one, that stands out in the memory book there. Did that sell? What? Did you sell that one? That's, yes, or just talking about that, babe. Um, Sorry. I'm thanks sorry. for paying so close attention to our live. Appreciate it. Yeah. Trying to ignore you, Teresa. Are you watching Star Wars or Star Trek or The Office over there? <laughs> what did he say? What did you say, John? I only watch those at home. Mm. I might leave to go do that. Stop it. Look how cute these are. And see, they look like a little grouping, even though they are completely different candlesticks, which I love. So pretty. Love that color does that. Thank you, Miss Sue. And since I put white wax on the first one and then decided I didn't like it and put the dark, I'm doing that on all of them because I'm giving it a nice little blend. Yeah, because you kind of need them to all look alike. Exactly. Yeah. So try to keep them groupy. Groupy? Groupy? I don't know. I'll get the words as I go. And these, like, I don't ever pay more than two or three bucks for candlesticks. I just don't. I mean, I love them, but I'm also a cheapskate. Um, I think the most I did pay was like three bucks. So I'll put these together and stage them together, but obviously price them separately. So they'll go anywhere from probably $5.99 to $9.99, something like that, which is reasonable, I think. That's what I would pay for them. I will have to say, we do need to, we do need to find find out what, how, how everybody gets everything cheaper than us because mm -hmm. I watch some of these surf shows on YouTube mm -hmm. and they're like oh and I got this for like a dollar fifty and I'm like in what world yeah I think they're lying just to make themselves there was stop, like right? someone when in the in the collaboration we were doing that she had this cute little kindergarten chair so cute and she did a cute little um uh, a green sack stripe and a stencil on it mm -hmm. so very much along the lines of the things that we do mm -hmm. And she was like, she got this chair for, what did she say, like $3.99? $3.99. Oh my gosh. I drive, oh, she is. She's got, she's got wax on the side of her face. Other side. Yes, yeah. I did. It's, that's, well, so that's, that's good. good. Work. That's yeah. all good and set and crusty now. But you know what's funny is I love a good deal. I almost love a good deal, it sounds weird, better than free. Like to me, I, I don't know why. Of course, I'll take free all day long if I find it on the side of the road or a dumpster. No, but I like free. I, I do, but I, I, I like saying I only paid 12 bucks for that. I don't know. I just, I'm very strange. It's not more fun to say I got that for free? I mean, it's still fun. I, I mean, who am I? I paint my face, so, you know, you can't listen <laughs> to what true. I say. That's true. Your credibility is just shocking. You can't, you can't go by what I say. Your credibility Last is just shocking. All right, I'm going to close this up because I love this grouping right here. I don't know if that will fill in. I'm just gonna paint enough see. of the inside of this that you can't see it. There's really no point to paint because you're gonna have those drawers, drawers in there. You know. yeah. Where are we at in time, Miss Sue? Uh, at an hour. An hour and nine minutes. Is where we are. Where's my third one? There, right there. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so I'm gonna see how these are going to look. The stress with only two kids on. I may end up needing to go back over on the phone. I mean, you can keep going because what's what the worst that's going to happen is if they're if they need to go somewhere, they'll just leave us. They'll just leave us. They'll just say sayonara. Just, just get, done. get her done. Get her done. Oh, somebody give me some caffeine today. What happened? I don't know. I can use some of them. Autumn says she went to a thrift store downstate a couple of weeks ago and it was five dollars still a day. Bad. Oh, she was telling me about that. Only small. Can you imagine? I would be in my glory days if I was filling up five dollar bags of smalls. I'd be broke. Yeah. And the store would be completely full. Oh, I actually like this without having to do another coat. I like this. It makes it look old. Dang it. I just touched it. Uh -huh. I hate that. These are 
cute. And even if you group these together, different colors like this, they're still kind of in the same coastal family, so they'll just be a cool, you know, sometimes people will come through and just not even have a collection or a grouping of anything and just see the whole thing and just buy them all at once and go, oh, I'm just going to have a bunch of sticks or a whole bunch of something with the greens or whatever. This hot green, I do actually feel like I'm going to need a third coat. And really? Mm -hmm. That's going to be cute for bumblebees. So there is one distressed. I'll bring it up when I get the other ones done just to show you the grouping. I think I just put paint in my hair again. Mm -hmm. You know you're so good at that. I really am. And I never wear my hair up. I don't know why. I probably should. My ears are too big. I don't like throwing my hair up. All right. I feel jumbo. Yeah, I do. I feel like that. I can't wear hats because my ears flop out through them. So, I don't like hats because one, I have a big head. You do not have a big head. And two, I have a lot of hair. Yeah, I know that I do. No, I think you could pull a hat off. Oh my God, that video I sent you last night. <laughs> Took me straight back to 1982. That is somebody who invested some money in Aquanet. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought I had a... Aquanet obsession. It was, it was like it was like straight up Andy's hair. Oh, for sure. Mixed with the bouffant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it was. Like she wore a bouffant as a teenager, probably. Yeah. Or as a young woman, and and then the eighties came, and just like that. Yeah. I'll just figure out how to combine them. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Never thought those two things could be combined, but they were. I was not anybody in the collaboration. Just as. I was totally separate. Absolutely. But when we see things that each other has to know about on YouTube, yeah, it is a requirement. Please send. And it doesn't matter, day or night. If you don't see it, you wake up in the morning, you see it then. It's a and good way to and I also sent it to my daughter, Lily, who immediately said, I have to forward this to her hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> we probably got an enormous kick out of it. Oh, I'm sure. Say hi to my Aunt Jenny. She just tuned in. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Aunt Jenny. <laughs> I have an Aunt Jenny myself. Here we go. I think everybody's got an Aunt Jenny. definitely nobody bothered a message how much is it don't matter don't matter no actually I'll probably do the same thing I'll probably put a price tag on it and <laughs> it'll sit it, next to my picture frame for it'll one sit million dollars and you know what will happen they'll look so cute together they'll, 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 together. they'll buy a boat <laughs> and we'll go crap <laughs> Lisa stop touching it it's not dry yet I just did that with this but you know what I got a little more distressing on this one than I wanted but so would you grab me some dark wax? Right here. I got you right here. Thank you. How quick am I? You are so close. I shall receive. All right. Where are these guys done? So I'm just gonna throw a little wax. You know what? Can be a quick. Can be a pain in the butt. What do you need? Clear wax. <laughs> clear? Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna dirty these. I think I'm just gonna give them a little, a little zhuzh with some clear. Yeah, I really like the bright white with black. Yeah, I think it needs any more. Yep. Just a little seal, and that's all I'll need. That'll I'll clean out of that one. That'll do. I can get in there. I can tell we use a lot of wax around here. We do. Big I, I, I prefer empty. waxing to top coating. I just do. 
And I prefer top coating, but sometimes I really love a wax. Like, like a good look how pretty that is. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Yep, and that just aged that thing and made it look like it sat in your grandmother's kitchen forever. Yeah. Which is what we were going for. Which is what we were going for. Gonna take a sticker off that though. Well, yes, it obviously needs to have the sticker. Yes. I thought you were getting ready to wax that. No, I'm not. I gotta use hemp oil on that. Food safe. Food safe. Food safe. All of this mustard seed is actually food safe. Yes. It sure is, yeah. It is indeed. So I could, but I'm not going to. through some stuff girl it's pretty much done all right so sometime in the upcoming weeks we're going to do patinas on all the pumpkins yep yeah we are indeed a patina day maybe that should we be bring in the dog Could we do that i we said the it. same thing we yeah for so dorky yeah you guys are mean for each other you big nerds yeah maybe we should do that one day that'd be fun maybe patina monday. monday looks like it's gonna be funky cold patina monday whoop, whoop. Where is Heather? We need that shirt. I know. She's in. No, I think Miss On is in tomorrow. I don't know. I lose track of my life. Like I don't even remember which one I just waxed and which one I didn't. Ah, it doesn't look waxed. And so look how cute. You can let like, distress sticks about. Is that what you're doing right now? It is not quite as easy as um, DIY. Okay wet distress probably because it doesn't reactivate when it's wet uh, makes sense mm -hmm. but it does but it does do a decent job oh yeah i mean it's not like a fusion where you yeah have oh yeah like fusion yeah fusion fusion and wet distress are like it's like an oxymoron yeah, yeah. not the same no, i don't really like that it's just stressed yeah it's pretty i like that color i'm not normally a fan of and I know you are a, a more creamy white. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I prefer, if I'm gonna do a white, I like it a little more crisp. You like the bright white. Yeah. yeah, but that's pretty, and especially with that distress coming through, I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little more on the warm tone of white, and mm -hmm. you tend to like the cool whites. Yeah. Cool. These are so cute. I do, I love candlesticks. Like, literally, I'm trying to decide, do I wanna take some of these home? <laughs> but, nope, nope, nope. Gonna let you all enjoy them and come on in and grab them. And these are small enough where we can ship them. We'll throw them on the website too. There's another one. And don't forget, we we do have stuff on the website. You can order the paints. Lily is supposed to be adding um, Dixie Bell and General finishes to our website today. Awesome. So you'll be able to order any of the Dixie Bell products from RayFilmCollection.com. Very cool. And when we start our new home makeover. Those will be YouTube exclusive, so okay. hopefully um, you'll subscribe to our channel there, That'd which awesome. is Rave Home Staging, youtube.com uh, forward slash Rave Home Staging. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited because... Yeah, that'll be fun. That's always fun to do. It is, and, and, and um, we were talking about just, you know, that farmhouse <laughs> eyeball in it. We we talk about it like we know, but we don't. Yeah, know. we don't know. We're her just at all. we're just stalkers. That's all. Just, yeah, we're yeah. madly in love with her. Yeah, and um, like, whoa, that's a great business decision. You know, not only does she get the house of her dreams, but it's all tax deductible. Shoot, yeah, because she does She's all the videos, so all the updates are all going to be tax deductible. And like, that's a little bit brilliantly smart. Just hmm. saying. Who doesn't need a good tax break? Let me just think about that for a moment. Yeah. Didn't take long, probably. Nope. Not at so, all. So, new video series coming yeah. to YouTube. <laughs> smart, smart, smart. Maybe I'll actually get some of that some of the DIY done that I've been wanting to get done. There you go. It could happen. It's, it's theoretically absolutely. possible. Probable, even. You know what else is probable? That we're going to end the show. We're going to end it. And I got all my stuff done for a change. Woo -hoo! All right, okay, ladies guys. and gentlemen, we appreciate you we very do. much. We actually do. And um, thank you as always for watching. And stay tuned for Friday's, you know, the deal. Upholstery. We're doing the reupholstery mm -hmm. of the chairs. So that we finished painting. Yep, yeah, we finished painting them, distressing them, and sealing them. And I'm looking at over the over right now. And we have the fabric, and we will have 
our stable guns, our upholstery guns, ready to roll on I just totally did Friday. That. I just totally did. Okay. Yeah, I'm not mad. Okay. And Thank you, mimosas and whatever else. Yes. Is. I'm gonna say it real quick. Um, 80s dance party, mimosa drinking, tiara wearing, fab furniture Friday. Woo! That was a mouthful. Woo! Bye guys. guys. See you Friday. Thank you. Bye.